Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Lamont Gilchrist. www.lgfitnessmessiah.com is my website. Go and check it out. Um, so I posted um, an article or a research article below about cholesterol le levels. I think uh, Keyes was a guy who did it in 1953. So this is how things get misconstrued and they get messed up. So to get straight to what the post is about underneath here, is that he wanted to sound good. He was a PhD and he wanted to be correct about cholesterol and the problems of cholesterol uh, levels. So he did a 22 country study where he studied people who in, uh, had the intake of uh, different types of fats and everything else like that. So how they came up with what we use as the standard until it was changed in 2015 for cholesterol guidelines was in his research, he showed, which is the charts to represent below, um, that there was an increase that went up like a ramp. What he did was only include the countries or the people who, that supported what he wanted to come up to be the actual science of whatever it was that he wanted it to be. So the information was actually skewed because in the other um, 14 or so <clears throat> countries, there was a, de well, there's a decrease, some stayed the same. So it was very inconclusive at best, but probably not likely um, just for the environment and the people that he researched. And then when you look at those countries, it doesn't represent the whole world population. It doesn't represent every ethnicity. It doesn't represent uh, every culture. And if anyone know anything about cholesterol levels and heart and, and uh, uh, cortisol levels and stress levels, that is also affected from stress levels. So when you look at these countries, you actually have to look at the stress, the environment where these people live at. So the point that I'm getting to is a lot of your research and a lot of the things that you call medical fact and a lot of the things that you go on with matter of fact and science is not that. I'm just going to be real with you. There are some skewed views because people want to sound smart and don't want to ruin their credibility or reputation. There are some factual basis that is suppressed because big companies and other people don't want you to know that information because there could be lawsuits, there could be financial loss. Um, and there are some uh, volatile or deceptive things because of most places and a lot of places on this earth uh, still practice subconsciously or consciously genocide on certain races. So the moral of the story is that although we set up these guidelines and we take things to be matter of fact, and I also got a link on my research where I'm talking about the occult, where we're talking about where people are going back where they came back, where they came up with physics and um, geometry and all the other different maths and herbs and stuff like that, which they got from uh, Egypt and civilizations older than that, that they used this and how the, the churches uh, who wanted to have control over the people um, came up and made it into witchcraft. And that's how we get to modern medicine um, today. And this is how we get to the science of physics and other things, the meta metaphysics and the spiritual realm. And, and all of these other things. So a lot of stuff that people were telling cultures or other people that was taboo or that was wrong, they were actually using the science and the knowledge and the um, uh, influence of the knowledge from herbs and different things and stuff to mix, uh, mix together. And the, uh, um, I can't think of what they're called, uh, the ones that work with the metals and all the other different things and found how, how to combine these particular metals and the effects of these particular metals. They've been doing this uh, since original man homo sapien uh, in uh, Kush or Kemet uh, brought enlightenment or brought true consciousness into this world and then dumb you down with misinformation and to scare you away saying that it's voodoo and witchcraft and all these other different things and don't do these things and get on your knees and pray to someone in the air, which kind of doesn't support the fact that 
you know, you're talking about magic and all these other things and not saying that that's wrong or right, but that's the concepts that they give to you and tell you to utilize that while they take the knowledge or the enlightenment or the wisdom and run with it for their own gain or for destructions of the civilizations. So I just wanted to clarify some of this stuff up. I wanted to put that post below. You can eat eggs, eat the yolk. It doesn't hurt you. Cholesterol, and I've been knowing that, bodybuilders been knowing that. It's lifestyle. Bodybuilders are dying because they were taking steroids, and that's why athletes die young. Uh, stress levels have more effect than eggs will, and it's also showing that you need cholesterol. Coconut oil is a good one. If you have any more information, um, I mean, if you have any more questions about this information, you can contact me. Like I said, I do hours and hours of research a week. Uh, I don't watch TV. This is what I do. I follow the research. I look at different articles of Google or go to YouTube. I pull up old articles um, because knowledge is power. So have a blessed week. Have a good work week. I'll see my people in Nebraska soon. Peace.